I've sometimes worked with students and we only have 24 hours to prepare for the test. And what they think they should do is memorize math definitions and try to cram in all this grammar, and that's a terrible way of approaching it. The best thing you can do in a short period of time is to fix the pacing of the way you take the test. One of the best ways that students can improve quickly is by focusing on the number of questions that they spend time on. It's so much better to focus on the quality of the work you're doing than the quantity of questions you answer. Before we jump in and think about specific material and whether you need to brush up on something from math or something from writing, it's important to think about strategy. There are a lot of things that you can do related to the way that you take this particular test that can make a huge impact on your score. So the first thing to keep in mind is that timing is really important when you're taking the test. You don't have to finish the entire test to get a great score. More importantly, if you find yourself spending four, five, nine minutes on a single reading passage just to figure out the purpose of paragraph two, that's not necessary, move on. The very next question might be easy points for you and it all weighs the same amount. So the first most important thing is pacing. How are you distributing your time across the test? The second most important thing is the order of difficulty. What we call your personal order of difficulty matters a lot more. Right, so questions that you find easy are easy, and questions you find hard are hard. The next thing is that you don't wanna focus on speed, you wanna focus on accuracy. Nobody ever got bonus points on the SAT for finishing a section 10 minutes early. What's much more important is that you're going through each question, reading it very carefully, using the strategies that you've practiced, and making sure that you're getting as many right as you can. Throughout this course, pay attention to yourself as a test taker. Do you waste a lot of time on geometry questions? Do you rush too quickly through the algebra questions? Maybe you're good at geometry and you can get those questions right, but it takes you four and a half minutes. You don't have four and a half minutes per question in the SAT, so you need to distribute your time wisely. When you find yourself trapped in a question for three or four minutes, get out and move on to the next question. The point here is this. The SAT is a time test. It's a high pressure test. It's totally normal to panic or freak out on test day. But if you've got a plan, you've actually thought about, hey, I'm really good at this kind of geometry question, or I'm really bad at this kind of writing question, then you'll know how to distribute your time and you'll have a plan to fall back on. During a test, when you find yourself rushing or panicking, recognize it, stop, take a deep breath, and then focus on just what the question is asking. That way you'll make sure you're getting all the points you deserve. 